I have been a trade unionist since 2005 and have represented a lot of women who are facing sexual harassment, sex exploitation, who are being abused at the workplace. And I understand the challenges that women have to go through just to sustain some form of employment. It is really worrisome when we've got characters like Shadaya, who are always viewing women in the negative light with no with no remorse whatsoever. I say this because women have to work twice as much for them to be respected at the workplace. Women have to do almost everything twice as much, five times as much for them to get recognition. We are such a time when we are still fighting for women to be treated as equals in our society, at the workplace, at the church, no matter wherever they are in the society. And then we've got characters like Shadaya who are damning women on a daily basis, taking them and dragging them into the mud and painting this 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 picture that is that is demeaning of a thing. We can't even call it a woman because what Shadaya tries to do almost on a daily basis is to objectify women as if they're children of a lesser god. I've been clear about my views on women. I stand for women's rights. They've been struggling for a very long time across the globe, not only in Zimbabwe. We have to get to a stage where we are bold enough to, 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 to hold Shadaya to account, to call him to order, and enough is enough. We cannot continue to be silent and watch Shadaya objectifying women. Women in Zimbabwe have been too lenient, too tolerant of this character. What we're failing to appreciate is the fact that whatever people continue to read, continue to consume, will end up determining their characters and attitude towards women. We are already in a space where there's a systematic attack on women in this country, especially women in leadership. And then we've got socialites actually deepening this crisis. And we also have those who do skits, doing skits that are also derogatory to women. What kind of men are we building? Because we're not we're not making the situation any better. We are making women become objects of ridicule, women become objects of disrespect, and women to become just things in the eyes of the alpha males in this country. It is important for us to be able to relay the message to Shadaya that if there is any woman or women who messed him up, it doesn't mean that all women are messed up. There are a lot of women or women of virtue, women of integrity who are working so hard to hold their marriages, who are working so hard to sustain their, their, their jobs, who are working so hard to ensure that they, they, they run the companies that they had without any single help from a man. Many women do value their marriages and have never had an affair either at work, church, or wherever. Women have been struggling to be respected globally for centuries. Now we're at a time when the world is slowly accepting equal opportunities, equal rights, and gender equality. Then we've got some weird characters like Shadaya trying to reverse the gains of the women's struggle since 1921. It is better off if Shadaya keeps his extremist alpha male opinions in his mind, lest he pollutes sane men's mindsets. What kind of a man is Shadaya, who doesn't have anything positive to write about a woman? There's nothing to learn from his misogynistic content, which is very discriminatory and has the potential to destroy the marriage institution today and in the future. As women, we are now pushing for a bill to protect women against sexist, misogynistic statements, insults, name calling, body shaming, etc., etc. We have realized that there's no respect whatsoever for the woman in this country. There's no respect for the girl child. We can't be facing derogatory statements day in and day out from characters like Shadaya, especially in March, a woman's month set aside internationally to celebrate women and their achievements. And we really have to speak out as women because the more we remain silent, the more we are abused and the more we will think less of ourselves and that will be detrimental to the women's struggle. I just have one word of warning to Shadaya. 
If you want war, we will give him war. You should remember that he was born from the womb of a woman, and he owes all the women under the sun just an ounce of respect. This is your Udaba TV, Hakudi Masifi, Slay Media TV, and this sport and dream with sitting as a one and up a news in Daka one run name of Yuzi, Slay Media TV, Mandi Chinger and my dreams. Slay, oh yes, Slay Media, 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 Kuchinja Vijani, Yamaketo Youth, Kuchinja Life, Yamaketo Youth. Tipanzira, se maketo yuzi Kutipa gwarara mangwana rakanaka Slai yao ya slai midi